let's start now with the, with the discussion. Is there any comment, question to either? Yes, and remember, as long as you're uh, on the video, you may want to be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, any questions? And especially as I'm in the very early stages of, of this research, uh, I, I'd be very grateful for criticism, for the suggestions uh, and, and so on, absolutely. Um, yes. I would like to know, is there any, I mean, I like that. I, it really impresses me um, as a possibility. And, uh, but uh, I would be uh, curious to look inside of what you have right now. Do you have a database? Have you used these applications? Have you any kind of visualization? Any un unfinished piece that we can look at in its unfinishedness? Mm -hmm. uh, well, as I said, this is this is work in, in yeah, progress. Yeah. Uh, the database um, is, so I have a, um, um, well, actually I'm constructing three big databases, so the node list, the edge list, but also a database um, with, uh, more inform with other kinds of information on uh, the letters. That database with the other information on the letters um, is uh, structurally, so the, the setup is there, although not all the letters, not all the information for all the letters is there. Uh, and uh, for the edge list and the note list, um, I'm not even halfway through the letter collection. And this has already taken me months of uh, very intensive work. So, because before I figured out all the problems that would be involved in uh, constructing these databases, um, and, I mean, that, that took uh, uh, really a, a lot of time. Um, and in, I mean, it's also, every time you realize one of these problems, you basically have to start your database uh, again, and that, that's the difficulty. Um, and um, so the databases are now, I have so, uh, kind of the feeling that I know how to go on with these databases. Um, I'm also going to spend a month in Paris in April uh, to get somebody uh, to help me to s with the setup of the use of uh, the software because I have not uh, started at this point uh, using it. Because um, before you can um, uh, run the software, you need to have a database that is uh, substantial oh, enough. Um, and to start uh, doing it um, completely on your own, especially if I want to use EgoNet, it's not, it's not a self-evident uh, uh, thing to, uh, to do, so that's, um, that's the answer to that question. Uh, I have a follow-up question. Mm -hmm. uh, are you thinking about, uh, probably not, you're not thinking about tagging the text? Uh, how do you extract things from the text and put it into the database? Uh -huh. Well, actually my very first idea uh, before I started uh, working on it <laughs> was actually to, to tag uh, the text yeah. and uh, Marco Büchner, who's at Leipzig, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, I was in, in touch with him then uh, about it. Now, um, what you would relatively easily uh, be able to do is um, to get uh, the computer to find all the proper names for you. Um, that's rather easy. You, you make sure that you find all the words with the capital and then, uh, I mean, my home university in Leuven, for example, uh, has quite a lot of experience uh, in uh, subtracting um, uh, prosopographical references from a large amount of papyri in, in, in their case. Uh, however, as you have seen, um, in these letters, it's not just about the people who are named. Um, and. <laughs> Uh, it's a known problem. It's it's what do you it's do a with, with yes, and yeah. The, the other thing I've I've noticed on the on the, so that's a, a yeah. The, the other thing I've noticed on the positive side is that I have to read these letters anyway. Um, you can't make the edge list. Well, you could make the edge list. That, that's what my uh, colleague Claire Le Mercier in uh, Paris uh, suggested at first. Well, you can uh, easily find references where uh, uh, every time the words. Um, um, uh, I recommend to you this or that person, or um, I uh, please uh, please help this person. You could yeah quite easily tag that, but then that doesn't cover all of all of the edges. Uh, nor in the case of the notes, that doesn't cover all of the notes. So I think I may as well go through through the letters uh, one by one, and that will give me the best quality of the best or the the, the highest quality uh, entries into my databases and. If the databases are no good, then all the rest I, I will do will be no good. Um, um, because
because then yeah, the information you are going to subtract from them uh, is, is go not going to be uh, not going to be complete or not going to be uh, correct. Um, and and this is part of a larger monograph on the letters, so I will have to uh, to go through the letters anyway to to know what's in them. Yeah. Which is a huge job, obviously. Yes. That means that overall you you find it hard, or there is no infrastructure at all that you can use. You put it up all by yourself. Yes. And you leave no traces for others. In a way, in uh -huh. the text, you well, do all that work mm -hmm. going through uh, the text, and uh, mm -hmm. there will no. I mean, Marco has another project running called E Traces, and mm -hmm. <laughs> we would like to see naturally the E Traces uh -huh. of your uh, mm -hmm. going through the text. But I'm just, I'm just yeah. kidding. I mean, uh, it's clear nobody can uh, expect uh -huh. that from you, but. Uh, naturally, that seems also a, a, a certain problem in terms of um, yeah, network analysis, mm -hmm. how to create uh, mm -hmm. infrastructure for network mm -hmm. analysis. No, I completely agree, and, and yeah. I'll. I'll uh, um, I mean, I don't uh, know exactly about the e traces uh, or about Marcos uh, e traces uh, project. So I'll, I'll definitely contact him again and ask whether he sees further uh, possibilities compared to what we uh, discussed yeah. last year. Um, however, what I do want to uh, leave is the database, um, oh. and that's of course yeah. already a, a major. But but I completely agree. Uh, that's something. That's still me making the discussion yeah. that I'm not. Including this uh, group, the other people who are. Uh, and where do you leave it, and how, and how can it then be uh, reused, and all that stuff? You know? <laughs> yes, yeah, and okay. that's my big question mark. That's what I what I said. Uh, I'd be particularly grateful for suggestions on. Um, how how do you publish this, and and and, and how do you yes how, how do you make sure that that every that the potential which is in uh, I mean a huge deal of, of work will go into building the databases into running them through uh, the network software how do I make sure that uh, other people will be able on the basis of this work of mine uh, to build further research on that because I will be interested in certain questions I mean I, I listed the two major ones about bridging divides and about uh, the changing the changes in this network over time but other people may be interested in completely different aspects of, of that network. And I absolutely want, want it to be possible for them to extract that, that knowledge, which I may not discuss in my, in my book, so that they can uh, select the kinds of nodes or the kinds of uh, uh, edges from my databases uh, um, and run them uh, through uh, the software uh, so that they can, they can have their own graphs and, and do the calculations on the basis of, of, the, net, uh, of the databases uh, that I've made. Other questions? I have. Sorry, I start with the first one. Mm -hmm. um, the first one is indeed about the database. Mm -hmm. uh, so, one question is about uh, uncertainty. If you have any field, any column in the database to mark um, names that are there, mentioned uh -huh. in the text. Yeah. Um, and so it's clear mm -hmm. that at least there is a name mentioned, uh -huh. or cases where it's an anonymous. Uh -huh. A reference to a person, mm -hmm. and then you can have. I think you can have two kinds of um, uncertainty. Uh -huh. One is about the text, so uh -huh. it's a philological uncertainty, yeah. where you're reading the text in a specific way. Yeah. Or it's a prosopographical mm -hmm. uncertainty, yeah. where you disagree or agree with one of your mm -hmm. prosopographical mm -hmm. sources. So are you tra tracking? any of these aspects in the uh, database? I'm uh, definitely uh, uh, trying to, uh, or I'm definitely making sure that I note when I'm not sure uh, um, about something that I uh, add uh, some kind of a question uh, question mark. Um, I don't know whether there was any examples in the part of the database. Um, there is relatively uh, little, relatively few no, well, there's, there's actually, I should go back to the other one. There is um, the, the information which I include in, uh, or rather the attributes which I um, um, uh, include in uh, the node list. Um, my starting point at this uh, time is the PLRE, uh, because I can't start by questioning uh, the PLRE, and there's so much information to be included in uh, this database, so that I, I take it for granted that if Jones has not put, Jones is very consistent and, and Martin Dill in putting a question mark if they're not sure about somebody's names, the dates of their offices uh, or the precise office. 
Um, so I will always, but there's no, uh, no uh, examples in, in this list I see, um, that I'll always uh, take over the, the question mark. Uh, but um, much more uh, uh, difficult are sometimes uh, the, uh, the, 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 the entries into this database, especially concerning the date, the beginning and, and, mm -hmm. and, uh, and end date. And, um, yeah, and the other, the other thing is that for these beginning and end dates, I may in the end have to do that entirely differently and list every single, say, the letters are available between 354 and 393. I may actually have to make a separate uh, uh, row in the end for each, each year for which I may uh, want to have a, a visual presentation. But uh, no, it's absolutely uh, um, necessary to note down if something is uncertain. Uh, so that in the end, I can always leave out all the ones uh, that are uncertain uh, and, and say that this is the part of the database which we can be absolutely sure about. And this is what I think uh, can be added to it, but which we can't be sure about. Well, at least to make sure you can visualize them yeah. uh, in a special yes. way. Yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. Color, uh -huh. uh, there are many ways to... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it might... So, so are you or or see yeah. if something, you know, if try to leave them out, something changes, something Yes, more. yeah. This so kind of thing. Do you think that on a, on a technical, uh, from, from a technical point of view, would it be better to uh, create a separate column? Um, saying like, uh, these are, rather than, no, but I mean, that's, that's, of course, you can always change that in the end to just adding a separate column and wherever there is a question mark, you put that I think as, as long as you're consistent yes. in the way you're inputting the data, it's fine. Mm -hmm. There is one risk that I know also from other projects that is just, one, as you said, it's an iterative process, mm -hmm. and there is the risk that the more you go into the into and through the letters, mm -hmm. the more you tend to make this structure very much complicated. Yeah. Uh, and at some point, we just explode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And there are, you know, so many challenges that you mentioned already, uh -huh. many interesting things, um, and many, in my opinion, many decisions that one has to take mm -hmm. yeah. about what is feasible, what is not, mm -hmm. and then. You said something about um, suggestions on publishing the data, publishing electronically. Mm -hmm. um, I think nowadays publishing uh, the, the book, if you want, and mm -hmm. the visualization or the data online is trivial. Mm -hmm. My suggestion would be only make sure that you document mm -hmm. the method, which mm -hmm. you're doing, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. and so how this uh, database is well created. And then just use an open standard mm -hmm. uh, to export them, like CSV. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. It's mm -hmm. very common for for mm -hmm. data, mm -hmm. um, and an open license. Yeah. Because you say something about the term of comparison uh -huh. that you don't have it. Your work could be the term of comparison for other people doing mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. this kind of mm -hmm. work, and it's really essential that mm -hmm. you give at least to to the raw data mm -hmm. as much freedom as possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, absolutely. Yes. Uh, no, I, I completely agree with that. Mm, okay. I'm the first. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you very much. It was very, very interesting. Um, I have a couple of uh, questions out of curiosity and a, um, a remark, um, rather provocative maybe. Let's start with the, I think we'll start with the, with the first uh, question out of curiosity. Uh, you had an introduction, a lot of introduction of uh, network analysis, and you mentioned the fact that specific fact uh, that you are dealing with an ego net. Mm -hmm. Is this, uh, I mean, is this also a methodological point that is discussed in network analysis? I mean, there are, are there uh, studies of other ego nets that are studied? In, uh, uh, yes, not, not well. Yes, not in the ancient world, as far as I'm uh, aware of. Um, but in uh, modern uh, sociological and psychological studies, there's quite a, quite a bit on that. Um, uh, but that works on a very uh, different source basis and uh, also on a different way of acquiring uh, the information because uh, what, we're, we're then, uh, what you're then looking into is um, huge uh, surveys which were done, uh, especially in the USA, uh, in their, what is it, every 10 years it's repeated this, this huge uh, census where they asked people um, 
in the, the second to last uh, census uh, to indicate, um, well, they, they asked the particular question, um, which uh, three persons have you uh, turned to most in the last six months in order to discuss issues that were of real, of, of big importance to you? Um, and then, uh, and then uh, indicates the relation which you have with these uh, with these people. And so, uh, researchers uh, um, on, on contemporary uh, USA have huge amounts of. I mean, these were ten thousands of replies. Obviously, this was voluntary, but they got ten thousands uh, of, of replies to that. So they're talking about entirely different numbers. They're also um, uh, talking or working on the basis of. Um, completely consistent uh, and uniform uh, source material, which uh, I'm, I'm not. Um, however, their studies are still useful for me to realize, uh, say, what uh, the differences are between analyzing an ego network and analyzing uh, a structural uh, or societal uh, network. Um, and also in order to see how they present that network, uh, for example, by leaving out the idea of leaving out the ego um, um, uh, rather than having the ego in, in the middle of a big star um, and what kind of calculations you do and what, what kind of software uh, you use, for example. But there is, yes, there's definitely a number of, of books, especially that have been published in the last, say, 10 years uh, on ego networks, but not in antiquity. Any other things? So, uh, I'm an art historian uh, and it was very interesting for me, um, I have to say. I'm not a philologist, it makes maybe a little bit difference because so I, um, I think that it, it, it works very well, I think, because it's just, an, um, let's say, an examination of a text corpus mm -hmm. and, um, and uh, so you, you stop, if I, if I got it right, uh, with uh, exploiting yeah. or this, uh, analyzing this text corpus, otherwise, but it would be interesting anyhow for me to make the next step to connect yeah. it with reality, let's mm -hmm. say. Um, and there would be uh, um, some further questions. So I didn't. So also from a technical point of view or a data modeling point of view, I didn't. Uh, maybe I didn't understand right how your edge. It was the edge list. I uh, know the note list. I think where um, various uh, the people or um, you know, individuals uh, mm -hmm. appear at several times. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, following uh, the you know the. the the date of appearance and so mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. and um, if one okay, you have then you have the problem how to connect them maybe uh, let's say with authority files let's say because mm -hmm. that's always the one person in reality mm -hmm. as an idea or maybe it could uh, would be a, an interesting idea even though it would become much mm -hmm. more complicated mm -hmm. from the other uh, to make uh, also a relational um, let's say model to connect them with their um, um, offices they had and so mm -hmm. on in the in various years and mm -hmm. so to make it able then to mm -hmm. display mm -hmm. these uh, various states of their career mm -hmm. uh, following to the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, so but, sorry if that was um, unclear, so, but that will definitely be uh, in there. Um, so, for example, Hierocles uh, was first, well, I didn't put them in chronological uh, order, um, I see there, uh, 343, for example, he was governor of Arabia, then in 344 he becomes an ex-governor, because he still has, um, the, the reason why I want to list that he's an ex-governor, and just not just to uh, say that he's a private person, is that he, of course, will still be able to enjoy some of the network which he uh, could establish as uh, a governor. Uh, then he became uh, consularis in Syria, um, etc. So, and that will definitely be taken into account. And the way I'm imagining uh, this is that um, in the graph, everybody say uh, who does not have an office will uh, uh, appear in green. Everybody who is just a provincial governor will appear in yellow, and everybody who is a skipping steps, etc., is a prefect will be there in red. Um, and say the, the name of Hierocles will change from um, uh, being a barrister before, uh, so a private person in, what did I say, green, uh, to then being a governor uh, in, in yellow, and then, well, he didn't uh, become prefect of the East, but say he would have uh, gone on to become prefect, then his name will, if I uh, uh, call forward the data for uh, 385, he would be there uh, in, in red, in the new color of his new uh, status. 
So that's the idea. But then, uh, of course, if I say that uh, an ex-governor has more power than, say, somebody who has all, or may have a, a wider network, uh, then uh, somebody who has always been uh, uh, without uh, an office in, in life, um, well, that, that's what I assume in general, but you can't know that for sure for every person at any at every single point in time. But in general, I think it's it's clear that this holds uh, holds true, and, and so will definitely be. And also, obviously, the other years which are not listed here separately. That's what I what I said in reply to the earlier question. I may actually have to list every single uh, year in that. I have another following question on this, mm -hmm. which has another other point. So you mentioned also in your actual list the problem that you have, you know, to, how to qualify the kind of relationship. Uh, what kind is it? And you've made a, uh, you've made a choice to mm -hmm. keep it quite open. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but it's something which is maybe somehow similar with the, with the note list mm -hmm. and the offices or the career steps or so, because um, uh, you, you take them out from I don't know where. Uh, yeah. And you get an ex-governor, a uh, former governor, uh, um, yeah, let's say a, a sub-governor, or something. And so these are all, uh, all various kinds of um, offices or so. And you, um, yeah, how, how do, you, do you bring them in order? As the, I think it's the same problem as, as the as the quality of the relationships. Mm -hmm. Uh, you, I think we have to talk about some kind of classification or vocabulary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think um, as far as the edge list is concerned, and so the kind of interactions or relationships, yes. I completely agree that this is um, this is um, well to an extent it is subjective because I'm the one who's going to judge uh, whether something qualifies as friendship, say, or not. Um, however, I'm going to of course try to be as consistent as possible. And also, I think it's important to uh, be as clear and as explicit as possible um, um, about the choices I've made uh, and what I see as, as qualifying for, say, the label of friendship or not. And that's also the reason why, in the first stage, I'm uh, trying to create rather more categories uh, rather than, than fewer ones. And, and if later I want to decide that that's all qualifies as friendship, that's fine. But now I would say like friendship or acquaintance or um, is supposed to know um, and, and these kind of, of, of rather vague uh, categories. Um, the note list, I'd say, is a, is a slightly uh, different uh, story um, because um, I'm taking the attributes um, at this stage, although I may not later want to correct uh, them, um, I'm taking them from the PLRE. Uh, and uh, Jones and Martindale, when they put that uh, Hierocles was Consularis Syriae in 348, 349, they will have collected all the, all the uh, information on, uh, on this uh, fact. Very often that's based on Libanius, in which case, of course, I risk, I mean, you come into a circle uh, uh, reasoning. But in many, on many occasions, it's doubled up with information from Amianus. And in the case of offices, it's very often doubled up with epigraphical information. And if these three, say, if Libanius, Amianus and Epigraphy um, uh, are in agreement that Heliorclis was a uh, consular in 348 to 49, then I think we can reasonably assume that that's uh, a fact. So there is slightly less, or well, no, there is considerably uh, less um, uh, ambiguity, I think, in making these categories, uh, and that's, that's the categories um, um, that's that, that are in, um, in 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 the PLRE. Actually, I'm just taking them over from there, um, and so that that's more yeah, yeah, consistent, consistent amongst each other. So you, you can you can uh, your your color system, for instance, you, uh, will run them. Uh, yes, although of course for the color, uh, where do you make um, where do you change the color? Uh, of course, again, that's of course a problem. Is a uh, somebody who, say, an alumnus of Libanius, about, we, about whom we know only that he ever studied with Libanius, but for the rest of his life we don't hear about any other career, is he equal to somebody who was an advocate, who, so who never had a, an official position in the imperial administration, but who still, um, I mean, had an active job, or we know that he had an active job, or again, is a, a vicarious of a lesser diocese, is he necessarily more powerful than a governor of a more important province? So that's, that's of course not easy to judge, but at least, I mean, um, late antiquity is, is a time when, as 
um, scholars have, have tended to, uh, to say, um, when uh, status is rather formalized compared to earlier uh, uh, periods of antiquity. Um, and so I, I do think that there is a clear perception, and also if you see, I mean, you, you can just see the Cursus Honorum um, and uh, well, see how they climb up, or at least in their view it's climbing up, so you can see that the Vicarius is um, esteemed more than, uh, than a, a simple governor, for example. More, yes. So I do not know anything about uh, technical questions. <laughs> Just one thing I thought uh, when you were uh, uh, talking about, uh, did you uh, um, analyze a bit corpus linguistic? It's certainly another matter because it's linguistic in, in, in mm -hmm. literature, than literature. Mm -hmm. But there are, as, as far as I know, studies in corpus linguistic, they have a, a corpus of, of texts. And they have analysis in linguistic matters, mm -hmm. and they and I think they have to study relationships within uh, linguistic uh, questions and, and within the texts. Mm -hmm. So, did you look at this? If this could help in order to to create the database, did you understand? <laughs> um, thus far, I I didn't. Um, so. Are you thinking about something like uh, what kind of language Libanese uses in, uh, in uh, or what the linguistic features of his language are um, when he writes to particular people? Is that what you're... No, I, I don't think that uh, because your measure is, is not a linguistic one in, in Libanese, mm -hmm. but perhaps you could uh, find parallels mm -hmm. in order to, to create the, all the questions for the database. Uh, All right. Look on, uh -huh. on studies on uh, mm -hmm. corpus linguistic. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, okay. Not, I'm not a specialist in corpus lingu uh -huh. linguistic, neither. It was just an idea. I had. Yes, indeed. And well, that might. And, and in modern languages, yeah. uh, so mm -hmm. certainly, uh, mm -hmm. especially that use uh, corpus linguistic. Questions. Yes, and uh, that, that uh, also. This yeah, ties up with, with the earlier uh, question we had about tagging uh, the text. Uh, uh, once you're doing that, that, that would, be, would be actually a, a good way to go. Um, but, well, last year at least, but that was before I, I really started the work, uh, that, that pathway did not seem to lead uh, anywhere when I was talking to, to Marco, but, but I may have to, to check that again and then also uh, check whether corpus linguistics might, might have some pointers for me. Thank you. Um, I have another question on the um, about the tagging, but I, I understand the choice of, of not tagging a text. Is there any way to just keep track to some degree of, of uh, precision of the passage where you found the mention of a person? So the, each node will occur in a specific passage of the text, and I saw you have at least the letter, the number of the letter uh -huh. and the corpus. Is there any other standard canonical citation for the uh -huh. that will work, I don't know, for, for paragraph section of the letter? Uh, yeah. Or the only way would be just a sentence? Mm, well, I could uh, very easily, I mean, there is one standard edition, yeah. the, the Teutner one. Uh, I could very easily uh, add here to the letter, this is in letter 390, paragraph 1, paragraph yeah. 2, etc. Uh, but I'm not sure whether that would be of any, um, if, if you think that that would be of any no, use, I'm, I'm very uh, happy to integrate that. That's a very small effort for me. The, the, the question comes out of the, um, just to follow up a little bit on the point of the ego network. The mm -hmm. ego network is, is, is a, as far as I understand, a specific way of looking at a network. Mm -hmm. yeah. From a perspective of a single node, if you want. But yeah, well, it's, it's rather looking at a particular kind of network, but still looking through the same lens of network analysis, but yeah. Yeah, that, no, yeah, okay, no, no. yeah. 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 Um, but the, in the at least, I think you're recording more information than just the, the ego network. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you can have a network, mm -hmm. which is a bit more of an ego uh -huh. network. And thinking about other possible uh -huh. way of ways of analyzing the, the same network, I think, the co-currencies yeah. of the people mentioned mm -hmm. yeah. in the letter uh -huh. would be an interesting, uh, yeah. at least to me, uh, yeah. thing yeah. to look at just for comparison. Absol yeah, absolutely. But you can do the, yeah. the, the, the co-currency analysis uh -huh. if, I mean, it would make more sense if you use like the section of the letter where they co-cur. 
throughout the day just the letter. You can say these two people are mentioned in the same letter, but you can also ah, say, okay. say yeah. they're mentioned in the same uh -huh. message or specific letter. Well, but in, in that case, I think uh, my answer would be that I'll be even much more specific uh, uh, than that, that you request, because actually what I'm going to uh, uh, show is that um, uh, say, uh, Chromatius uh, is uh, annoyed at a certain person uh, who did not wish Libanius to return to Antioch. So I will be, I'll not just say that uh, there is a co-occurrence of two yeah. names within a specific letter, but I will say that in uh, a specific letter, this person is put in, is, is really uh, put in that relationship or seen in, presented in that relationship or in that specific interaction with that specific other person. Okay. So it's really about the 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 the, the, the idea is really to see how P, how Libanus puts person A and B who he both knows but who don't know each other how he puts them in contact with one another or how he uh, tries to help person B by writing to person A yeah. and by mentioning person B in a letter to person uh, to person A. So that's really the the, the core of, of what I'm doing. So it will be very specific um, but I mean, it's so, um, as you saw in, in, in that little letter, most of the letters are, well, um, maybe, well, I, I dropped out a, a few a few lines which were irrelevant here, but most of the letters are not yes. much longer than that one. So it would not be relevant, I mean, it's... So for you it's enough? Uh, it's enough to say, to say uh, that it's in, in letter 390, but it will be very specific in saying what it says, or who is put together with whom, who is... It's not just... Uh, because yeah, these people yeah. are mentioned together, uh, um, uh, that they have a relationship or that there is an interaction between them. But I will, uh, uh, I will uh, display and, and record very carefully and very uh, precisely um, which interaction is there, or Libanius pretends is there between uh, uh, specific people. So with a, with a stronger focus on the type. Of, of yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that that's important. I mean, yeah. to see that all these people occur uh, together is one thing, but I think the interesting thing will be uh, to see, um, say, for example, is it, is it the case that uh, Libanius um, uses provincial governors always or consistently to promote his alumni? Because he is a professor of rhetoric, he obviously wants to, uh, to, to have some power in the Roman Empire, so what he's going to try and do is to help his uh, ex -student, his students when they graduate to get an interesting position in imperial administration. So is it the case, for example, I'm, I'm just inventing because I haven't constructed the whole database so I can't know, but is it the case that he always writes to provincial governors to get that? Or is, is he only writing to Praetorian prefects uh, to get his, mm -hmm. his, uh, his, his ex-students uh, job? Um, and is he using to Christ is he writing to Christians only um, in an uh, in, in order to criticize them, or is he also writing to Christians just in the same way as he's writing to pagans? And that's why I want to list the, um, the kind of interaction, the kind of uh, relationship as precisely as possible to see how the network really works. Not just to see that, that there is a contact, but what's really interesting to see is what kind of contact there is, what kind of contact there isn't. For example, you can see that, um, I mean, we have a letter in 355 between Libanus and Anatolius, uh, we have again a letter in 388 between Libanus and Anatolius, um, and he's not mentioned a single time in between. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you feel in the letter of 388 that there have been some problems. Uh, so, so it's interesting to see what interactions there are, how, uh, what kind of interactions there are, how strong they are, and whether there's... And, and yes, indeed. Okay. So that's... Uh, yes, before we open the last... Okay, so uh, just a few small questions. Uh, if you distinguish between groups of recipients of the letters, can you also somehow judge how truthful the statements in the letter are to a group of people, or if he's exaggerating uh, mm -hmm. some things, if he wants to mm -hmm. recommend a person? Mm -hmm. like um, well, it's that, that's a difficult question to know, uh, of course, whether, say, when he's recommending his students, whether he is exaggerating, but I think he definitely is. Uh, there is this great uh, article about uh, modern, actually, contemporary uh, recommendation letters that goes under the title, Where are the other 90%? Because everybody always says this student is definitely in the top 10% 10, 10 range of my students. Yes, and I think you have exactly the same with uh, Libanius. However, in uh, my database, I'm not um, taking into account um, 
that kind of subjective judgments on people. What I'm interested in is, uh, well, people's position in the note list, but that's, I take that over from uh, the prosopography, which is rather about their jobs, uh, their social positions, and which is usually documented by, or at least in a, in a, a great number of cases, also documented in other sources. Um, and in the, in the edge list, um, uh, I don't, I, I just put uh, Libanus praises this or that ex student. I don't, um, I, I only, and, and that's what I said, I only pretend that I can show something about the way Libanus presents us his network. I can't know, um, I know that he, he praised him, but I can't know whether that's, uh, whether that person deserved it or not. And um, if you experiment uh, with two people being the same or being not the same, do you expect that the structure of the network will change mm -hmm. very, very strongly, dramatically, or if it more or less mm. will be the same? Mm. Well, that depends on uh, what kind of person that is. I don't think uh, it will change a lot if um, we're not sure uh, in a certain recommendation letter for a student, whether that's student A or B or X or Y or Z. Uh, but uh, in the case, for example, of that, um, if you can uh, please reconcile the man who's angered, if that's an emperor uh, or a, a, a junior emperor, so a Caesar, that may make a, uh, make a rather uh, large uh, change. And so I, I basically hope I won't be confronted with, with that kind of questions uh, uh, too, uh, too often in Libanius. Now, in this particular case, it's not even a, a problem because we know from Libanius and also from Omianus that, uh, no, not from Omianus, but, but we know that uh, Libanius had personal access to, uh, to the Emperor Gallus. So Gallus would be in the network anyway, but suppose he would not be there other than in this letter where I only have to guess, then I would be really careful because that's going to make a, a big change to your network, whether an emperor is there, because emperors are, of course, connected to many people. That's the reason why that changes a lot. Okay, and this anonymous description of people, is it because of some rhetorical thing being so, or is it because of some, uh, some he uh, being afraid that other people might read the letter or so? Mm -hmm. Well, it can have uh, different aims if you're writing a recommendation letter, uh, unless if you're really naughty, then you recommend your student. Um, and we only have positive recommendation letters of Libanius. However, we do have recommendation letters in which a part is missing. Um, so if he always in a recommendation letter says, this student is not just um, very intelligent, rhetorically very capable and very polite, that occurs in 100 recommendation letters, and then you have two recommendation letters which only say this person is very polite um, and can speak well. You see the, the, the part about the intelligence is missing in that letter, for example. So that's, that's how you can uh, try to see um, that there is different degrees in recommendation letters. And in some other letters he will add that he's also from the best possible family and that he helped so much, etc. So there is degrees in recommendation. Um, on the other hand, you're absolutely right uh, that another reason is that uh, is the fact that Libanius always has uh, at the back of, or even at the front of his mind, the fact that these letters will be read aloud publicly. Um, so if you want people to know something, you will write uh, a, a letter to a friend of yours who will read it out aloud. Uh, that was often an event, Libanius describes that uh, quite, uh, quite regularly, that uh, he received a letter from somebody, I received your letter and read it out to my friends, and everybody uh, kept saying how wonderful it was. So you, you, you knew on beforehand that your letter would be read, read out aloud, and so you would uh, write nice things, say, about an emperor or a governor who was in a place or something. Okay, two very small things. Uh, this Demetrius 2, 1 or so, is it numberings from two different sources? Yes, exactly. So, um, uh, that's, uh, as I said, there is two prosopographies. Um, the, the standard prosopography of the late Roman Empire numbers with uh, Arabic numerals. Uh, which I therefore put first, but uh, Otto Zeek, um, who uh, wrote his work before the PLRE, uh, numbered with uh, Latin uh, uh, numbers. Um, and so um, most of the time they refer to the same uh, person, but that's, yeah, you always have to take that into account because 
information may be included in ZIG, which is not in the PLRE, so I need both numbers. Because the PLRE, as I said, lists only people who had uh, a position in the imperial administration. Okay. And uh, uh, on, on another page, you listed one guy as an ex-governor uh, for, for some time period, and then another entry, post, post something. Uh -huh. why, why was it two entries? Um, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, how can I? Um, or maybe that's a good indicator that we should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So, so one entry had post, yeah, post three eighty eight, and the other had. Uh, there were two uh, entries, ex-governor, one was whatever, from 348 uh -huh. to 349, uh -huh. and the other was post Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, because um, uh, the one uh, who would have, where I had the precise dates, would have had a governorship, say, from 347 to 348, and then in 349, we would know uh, that he became a prefect, for example. Oh. Yeah, so he, 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 he uh, went a step up. Uh, and then I stop calling him an ex-governor and I call him a prefect and after his term as a prefect I call him an ex-prefect, yeah? Uh, whereas in the one where I put post uh, 388 he was uh, an ex-governor and that's uh, one for which the PLRE and so I uh, do not know that he held uh, another or a high or a lower, if that would ever happen, uh, office after 388. Um, mm -hmm. But then the other problem is that we don't always know uh, when somebody died. So for how many more years am I going to count this person after 388? That's another uh, problem. I mean, many times the PLRE makes, uh, and it does know it, but many other times they don't. So, so let's thank our speaker again.